Hey guys, Pete Williams here, and welcome to the final day of pay-per-click training in this year's 30-day challenge. Today what I want to go through is a little bit more of the creative things we can actually do with the AdWords program, and mainly focus on the content network. And I also want to touch on a few of the other pay-per-click opportunities that are available online through Bing, Yahoo, and even the uh, demographic pay-per-click with Facebook. Now, that is definitely something that's beyond the 30-day challenge, but I want to at least mention it today with a couple of uh, screenshots and things to give you an idea of what is possible as you grow your business beyond the 30-day challenge. So, thank you very much for sticking with me these last three or four days. I've really enjoyed putting all this content together for you. Uh, I hope you've really enjoyed it. Thank you very, very much for all the positive reviews, uh, ratings, comments below the YouTube videos, and the participation in the forums. The questions and the feedback have been fantastic. So, thank you very much. I will continue to see you throughout the rest of the 30-day challenge with the option and bits and pieces. But for now, let's jump in and finish off this AdWords component. All right, so here we are back inside our trusty Google AdWords account. And before we actually go ahead and start creating a content network campaign, what I should probably do is, for those of you who don't know what the content network is, actually give you a quick 30-second overview. So let's actually jump to a different website on the internet. Now this is campus.com. It's a camping gear, equipment and gadget review site. So it's sort of actually competing with my children's sleeping bag site, but they're obviously at much more of a macro level than a micro niche level. But what you can see at the top of the blog here are some advertisements that look very, very familiar in the way they're laid out. And that's because they're actually ads by Google. So unlike the traditional um, search marketing advertising we've been doing where our adverts actually are placed only on the search results pages, Google offers this service called AdSense where bloggers and website owners can actually put advertisements from Google on their website and actually share a part of the revenue when someone clicks through on the advert. So how these are actually uh, targeted is by two factors, by the keywords on the page and obviously the site selection which we'll go through in a moment. So if I'm actually bidding on a term in AdWords called, say, um, a car is 50 backpack, what I'll actually do is I'll pull that ad through and display it on the page here where there actually is a word, a uh, Arrakis 50 backpack. So it's similar in terms of it's still keyword matching, but it's keyword matching by terms and words on the particular web page that you're looking at as opposed to search results. So. Uh, hopefully it gives you a quick overview of how the uh, AdWords works or the, the content network for AdWords works. You can see down here there's a few more um, Google Ads that have been displayed on the site um, and uh, so on and so forth. So let's actually jump back inside our AdWords campaign now and actually set up our own content network campaign. So to do this we definitely want to start a new campaign. I know I've said the word campaign quite a bit this morning. But what I want to do is really enforce or reinforce that when you're doing content network, it should really be in a separate campaign to your actual AdWords search marketing. Reason being is the numbers will be diluted. You'll get a heck of a lot of impressions from the content network, but not so many clicks, which will mean the click-through rate is going to be quite a bit lower. And you don't want that low click-through rate to be pulling down the quality score of the other keywords and ad groups that you're running. So let's go through this and uh, basically follow the same steps that we did when we set up our first campaign. I always, uh, content network, I'll always uh, name the campaign slightly different um, just so I can easily see which campaign I'm in at a simple glance. So children's sleeping bags, just putting content network at the front really makes it stand out. Again, I'm going to select some other countries being uh, North America Actually, I'll change it just to the United States because I don't want Mexico at the moment. Um, continually going down, and this is where we'll choose the different networks we want our advert to be displayed on. So originally, we kept the search network on and turned content off. This time, we want to do the reverse. So turning search off, uh, leaving desktop on, turning iPhone on, sorry, iPhone off, and this um, button here, You've got relevant pages only on the placements I manage. This is what you want to select. This way we actually get to choose which websites our adverts are actually showing on. It's not just up to Google. We actually get uh, a bit more control of the uh, campaign here. 
continue scrolling down and putting in the budget for the day I'm only going to make this $50 for the content network I don't want to spend as much until I can test it and see what the quality of traffic is like and then save and continue now uh, ad group again just call children's sleeping bags um, put in a headline here and uh, a normal advert uh, you do this as you normally would but just keep in mind it's a slightly different type of uh, user who's going to actually see your adverts on the content network they're not actually actively searching for children's sleeping bags as they are when they go into Google and put in a search query here it's more like a billboard on the side of a road in that someone's going to be on a website looking reading and experiencing that website for whatever reason they are and there's going to be these little billboards around the place so you have to catch their eye slightly differently with a different sort of message so this is something again you want to split test as you go through your content network campaign uh, for ease of use here and speed in getting through this demonstration I'm going to just chuck in uh, one particular advert here and then I'll split test it later I'm going to say looking for other options when it when it comes to children's sleeping bags not half bad I might actually tweak this a little bit later on but children's sleeping bags com destination URL all pretty straightforward now I want to actually select the keywords that will trigger the display of my advert so what has to happen in the content network is the page has to have the word or the keywords in this instance children's sleeping bags in the copy somewhere for my ad to be displayed it won't simply just display my ad it has to be triggered by the word children's sleeping bags or the phrase children's sleeping bags again we'll put in the uh, exact version and we'll put in the phrase match version as well that's all good to go and then the bottom section here is placements now here we can actually put in the URLs of the websites we want our ad to be displayed at so if you already know of some websites in your particular niche or niche depending where you are in the world that display content ads you can actually put in the URL here but we're going to skip this at this point and use a very funky tool that Google offers later in the process uh, down here you want to simply put in the cost per click or your maximum cost per click for the content network given that there's slightly different buyers that I mentioned before you definitely want to make this a lower cost per click uh, I can't stress that enough so I'm going to put in 25 cents here uh, as my maximum cost per click I should be able to reduce this very very quickly but I'll just start it at 25 cents and save this ad group now uh, one thing you have to do which is sometimes strange is just put in one cent as the search cost it is off as you can see here but they do ask for a one cent value I don't know why I think it might be a bug in the AdWords system but don't stress one cent won't get you an impression and won't cost you anything in the search network but it is obviously off too so the next thing we need to do is actually add manage placements you can see here that the ads would not run because we haven't determined what pages we want our site to uh, be displayed on so to do that I always hit networks and we can scroll down here now this just also reinforces that search is off our ad in this campaign might be displayed for search which is great also automatic placements is off too automatic placements is where Google will just choose what web pages it feels your ad is relevant to and display them I like to have a bit more control so here we can simply hit the ads ad placements button under the content manage placements section of the networks so uh, simply hit add placements and we want to use this tool over here called the placement tool so this is basically a little search wizard that Google offers that we can use to determine what sites are out there that have uh, AdSense on them that will show AdWords adverts that we can choose to be on now we can simply uh, browse categories and search through that way I want to try and go via keywords so I'm going to put in a few keywords here that will hopefully uh, bring up a bunch of sites that are relevant to my particular niche I always choose from here a higher level term so I'm going to put in sleeping bags 
um, camping as well. Higher level stuff because this way you're going to choose much broader sites. Sites will have a lot more traffic. But because we chose children's sleeping bags as our keyword, it'll only trigger if the page on that site is talking about children's sleeping bags. So let's hit get available placements. And as it does a little search, it'll pull up a list of all different sites here that it actually thinks is relevant to what we spoke about. Now, there's a big list here, outdoor review, camping life, campus, trail space, camping.org, which is actually the site I uh, showed you all before. Uh, it shows you here what it thinks impressions that site has a day, which is quite cool. And it also talks about the different types of ad formats that are available on this particular website. For the moment, all we're looking at is text ads. But what you can do with the content network as you grow and as you go beyond the 30-day challenge is you can put in image adverts. So you can actually get some little banner ads created and displayed. Also video ads. So you can actually do little TV commercials on some sites these days, which is quite cool. Now, you can click the link and it will take you through to the website and you can actually have a look at what the site is like. For this example, I'm just going to click through and add a few of these sites. Campus, let's go Camping Life, Camping R Us, the Backpacker, Camping Equipment. And you can just go ahead and just select all the sites that you want to actually uh, display your advert on. And hit Save and Continue. It will bring it back and put all the uh, URLs back in this box here. And you can save that down now. So it's showing that your ad is eligible for these sites. And what it'll do as your actual campaign grows, on a website level, it'll show you the impressions, the clicks, and the click-through rate. And obviously what you're paying per click at each individual site. So it's very, very granular, and you can manage it very effectively. Because what you might find is some sites send you better traffic than others. So just like we peel and stick our adverts and our keywords in the normal campaign, we can actually peel and stick the websites so if we have a website here that's performing very poorly for us, it's getting high impressions but low clicks, we can actually peel that one out, either delete it or put it into a second content network campaign to ensure we have the best quality score for this campaign, which means a lower cost per click. So that is the content network side of things within AdWords. Uh, it's a great way to get some more traffic to your site, either for the test that we're still doing or moving forward to actually get traffic as you grow your business. So again, uh, please review the videos, um, any questions, jump on the forums, rate the videos as well, and we'll jump into a second video, which will be a really, really quick one, just giving you an idea of what other pay-per-click options are available for you.